Okay. Yeah. Pastor Kevin, it's great that there are Christian supporters of Israel coming around the fair, but earlier today there was uh, a, a band of uh, a Pastor Reuben Israel who are wearing uh, Yeshua is Mashiach uh, and, and, and sharing their good news. Is that is this an appropriate place for that, or should they be able to uh, speak their their free speech here? There was, there was also a group out toward the entrance. Okay, they were protesting, holding signs that were extremely offensive, such as "Ask me why you're going to hell." That's not the message that Christianity carries to the Jewish people. These are people that are misguided, that are misunderstanding what's going on here. The goal of the Christian community is to support, band, and stand with Israel, with the chosen people. And the Bible says that you are the chosen people for all generations. We're still in all generations. And until the generations end, we'll still be in all generations. So we are in the process of understanding that there is a communion, there's a community, there's a support to support the Judeo-Christian values of who we are. And it goes way beyond just the, the, the things that support, that, that, that uh, uh, the divide us. There is so much more that keeps us together because we share the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We share Israel as the homeland that God is going to set his throne when the Messiah comes again. And so it is the one place that, that God says, this is my home, this is for all people. I've chosen the Jewish people to guard this and guide this until the Messiah comes. We are Christians that stand in support of every bit of that. We love you and we appreciate you very much. Have you felt welcome here? You know what, the, the, this community is so amazing and so incredible. I felt more than welcome. Uh, the Jewish community has accepted the Christian community in so many ways, uh, socially and, and, and politically and economically and spiritually, in so many ways. There's so much a common bond that this God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob brings us into um, that is way beyond explaining. It's a spiritual bond that brings us together in so many ways. Uh, how many pastors do you think uh, made it here today? We had about 45 pastors here today from all over Southern California. And very, very excited to have so many show up, so many respond. Um, our goal next year obviously is more because we want to see the Christian community in support of what's going on here. This is a great opportunity to say, you know what, um, there, there, there's nothing political here, there's nothing to come to say, you know what, we're going we're gonna to pray certain ways, we're going to do certain things. It's just come together and join together in unity in one day. Why is Israel an important issue for Americans who aren't Jewish? Israel is an important issue for the world today, period. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Creator God, said Israel is important to me and to all people that follow me. We believe that 100%. Anyone who is opposing Israel is not understanding or not agreeing with Scripture today, both the Old and the New Testament. But would someone have to be uh, religious or even Christian to be concerned about the safety and security of the, the small state? No, let's, let's, let's take religion out of this whole equation just for a moment. And let's ask the question, there's a small nation that is leading most of the area of the world in, in, in research and development technology and agriculture and medicine and, and energy and so many different areas. And they are offering all that they have to the world. The world is a better place because of Israel. So if you take the religious equation out, does the world need Israel? In every way. Now put the religious equation back and say, you know what? The reason that the world needs Israel is... Amen! Whatever he said. God, God promised that he would bless Israel and bless those who bless Israel. Pay attention. Even if you aren't a, a, a church goer, yeah, even if you're not a church goer, look at the world today and how desperate we are, okay, for community, for ethics, for morality, for righteousness. You can compare it. You know, you look at the you look at the different faiths, different beliefs, different systems and ask yourself the question, which are the ones that hold people accountable to righteousness and ethics and morality and what is right? But if you if you were to ask many members of the, of Keith Ellison's Democrat Party, or Hillary Clinton's Democrat Party, the pro-Palestinianists, even mainline Protestant movements would be saying that Israel is not ethical towards the Palestinians. What, what's the ethical uh, view in your view? Here's the answer to that. I know, I know. I know everyone wants to sing along. The answer is, I challenge, I challenge, here it is, I challenge any professor, educator, 
political person in, in America to journey with me to see Israel and see the Palestinians and see what Hamas and, and Hezbollah is doing and then have a conversation. But if you've never been there and seen it firsthand, shut up. That's a mic drop, but I'm holding it so so because we need it for another interview. You've been there and seen it firsthand. What can I say? You don't know what you're talking about, okay? You have a radio station. Clear? You guys have a radio station that's going. In? That's a, 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 yeah, we started a radio station called Voice of Hope. We we didn't start. We're part of it. Um, start by by uh, an organization there that used to have Voice of Hope in Israel. It started again, and now it is broadcasting wonderful information to the Muslim countries surrounding Israel. And so it's a great benefit for humanitarianism in the Muslim countries. What language do they broadcast in? Uh, Arabic and uh, English and something else. I don't remember what it is. Could it be Hebrew? No, not in Hebrew. Why not? Why not? Because we're not broadcasting to Israel. We're broadcasting to Muslim countries. Do, do the uh, Muslim countries need a break? Do they need help? Yeah, we're getting an astonishing response from the Muslim countries of people listening to these radio stations, okay? And, and, and how much it, what they're hearing can improve and change their lives. So amazing responses. We're hearing, we're, and it's a pretty powerful station. So in the evening, people were getting response from, from Russia and Sweden. So it's a huge broadcast.